name is Abhishek Jain and in today's video I am just gonna explain how can you create a compressed tar file with the help of a tar file module of a python programming language. I have already published one video which actually explain how you can create a uncompressed tar file with the tar file module of python and I am just gonna use the same code what I have written in that video to explain how you can just modify the same code to use a different different compression techniques which we have right so without further delay let's get into the demo part and just for the, your reference what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna provide the link of that video in a description so if you would like to understand the code which you are seeing on this screen you can just watch that video to get the sense how i have written this code and what every line of code is supposed to do so right now uh, what i have done is i just opened one file okay this tutorial one dot tar i wanted to create a tar file with this name in my current working directory and this is how it looks like so tutorial one and in this tutorial one we have two files one sample.json and sample.xml and it is an uncompressed one because i have used a mode as w and now you can see the size of this is 10 kb so there are three major techniques compression techniques we have gzip bz2 and lzma which tar file module supports so to enable any compression technique what you have to do is you have to just open this file into the gzip compression Technique. So just to tell your tar file module, all you need to do is when you are opening this file, you have to just this colon gz. And if you want, you can just give this gz uh, as a name for this so that we can differentiate the created tar file. So now I'm just gonna come here and I'm just going to run this. And I should get this to tell one dot tar. And now you can see the size of this file is one kb. Similarly, if you want to use the bz2, you can you can give bz2 here, and then I can change this bz2, and I can run this code one more time. Again, it is being compressed, and it is again showing one kb because the sample.json and sample.xml is very less in size. I mean, if you just wanted to see how these different compression technique is actually compressing the data, so. I think we should have a more bigger file into it so for that uh, just to showcase that I'm just gonna copy these three files which has one folder residency automation then we have form.xml and we have a swagger.json okay so let me just add these as well and before don't I'm not gonna use uh, any compression technique for now all I'm gonna do is uh, I can write a loop also but just for that residency automation and then XML I'm just gonna copy this code again and hopefully I will just put this code into the loop so that I don't have to just copy paste the same code so I got a JSON Okay, and we just change our name to tutorial underscore compression. Okay, so if I just run this code one more time, let's see what happens. I just got this compression tutorial compression. The size is close to five MB. Uh, let's use some compression technique. For example, GZ to enable GZ. I have to give colon GZ. And then I can just run this code one more time. Hopefully, okay. Now we have this. Just see, now it has been compressed and the file size has been reduced to 308 KB. So close to 5 MB file has been reduced to just 300 KB, which is really good, right? So let's see what happens if I use EZ2. Save it run this one more time. Now, see, this is further reduced to 161, 
is equal this is b set 2 okay let's use the last one which is algorithmic here save it run it one more time oh <laughs> i just made a mistake rather than algorithm it should be xz my bad okay let's see see this LZMA has further reduced from 161 KB to 133 B, right? So you, this is how you can use a different compression technique to reduce the size. So depending upon how big your tar file is and how you want to share it, definitely you want to have a reduced size of your file because you want to share with someone either through the network, you want to share with the cloud storage or, or you want to upload to the source uh, controller. So depending upon your need you can use any of these compression technique so hopefully i think you have learned something and if you have any feedback or comment to improve this video just put that into the comment section and if you want me to cover any advanced topic please put that into the comment section as well so that i can come up with that and as always thanks for watching this video and stay healthy and keep learning a new things